How's it going guys? Welcome back. Today I've got three boxes. I've, I ordered some horror soundtracks on vinyl trying to boost up that collection. Um, got a box here from Brick a Brack Records which is a local Chicago store. I've got Mondo right here and then Waxwork Records. I'm going to be doing a little unboxing here for you guys. So up first here we've got the package from Brick a Brack Records. Uh, let's break into it shall we? Oh, good. <laughs> All right, so it's gonna it's gonna go like this then, huh? I'm an amateur. <laughs> All right, almost there. Almost there. Struggling. All right, gotta bust it open. So as you can see, it is the thing originally by uh waxwork records i believe they sold out so i had to go on the hunt and uh brick or brack has this in stock so i was really happy to kind of get this one and at, at the end of the video i'll uh open all of these individually and show you guys the uh vinyls and everything so really happy to add this one to the collection of course one of the best soundtracks of all time in my opinion all right there's that one up next, I'll do the uh, Mondo here. Let's get our trusty butterfly knife. All right, this one's a bit easier. <laughs> wow, packaging's really nice on these. These are never gonna get damaged in transit. All right, looks like we've got three titles here. All right, let's twist all these around so they're in the right order. Okay, up first we've got your next. Now, with my lights, you can't really tell a lot of the detail, but I'll fix the light situation when I break down into these. But really happy to add this to the collection. That one there, of course, all the uh, songs there. Next is the Prince of Darkness. Really, really excited to get this one too. Love the eerie soundtrack to this. One of my favorite uh, John Carpenter films. And then VFW here. W my absolute favorite film from last year, actually. Love the soundtrack to this. Very score heavy. Hey guys, you can see me. Uh, very, very synth heavy. A lot of fun. Love this one. Can't wait to spin this record. It, it, I bet this is going to sound great on vinyl. And then, last but not least, is Waxwork Records. I had to kind of get a little head start on this one because I had no idea how the hell to open this. Uh, so I didn't want to sit here and struggle with it for like five minutes. So. All right. So. Down the middle like that. Move that. Ah, yes. Now, there's only two records here. Um, I ordered three. The Halloween, Rob Zombie's Halloween soundtrack um, is only available for pre-order. So here we got the Phenomena soundtrack. Beautiful. This one was only $20 on Waxworks site. I mean, for that price, I had to pick that up. Pretty much any Dario Argento soundtrack is worth picking up on vinyl. Just absolutely gorgeous. And then last but certainly not least is Gretel versus Hansel. Again, one of my favorite films from last year. A lot of, uh, not I, calling this movie fun is not really the, the correct, uh, Term. It's very visually pleasing, very beautiful, very kind of A24-esque. This would fit right along that line if they released this one. There's a listing right there. The soundtrack's one of the best things about this movie as well. Very eerie, so can't wait to spin this one as well. And then let's get into these. So let's crack into these bad boys. Looks like we're going to be dealing with a little bit of a glare issue, but that'll be fine. Uh, first off, we have VFW here. see looks like it's just one there again there's the uh 
track listing. Looks like we got a, two vinyls in here. That's pretty cool. Let's see, ooh. That's really cool. Transparent, kind of uh, clear splatter. Let's see if the other one's like that. Yep, awesome. Really like that, that's really cool. All right, up next is Gretel and Hansel. Very cool artwork, like that a lot. Ooh, now this one opens up. Look at that, love that, that's beautiful. Wow, that's so cool. And then again, the uh, track listing there. Now let's see what we're looking at with this one here. Ooh, that's cool, nice little print. Oh, double-sided. Wow, this one kind of blowing me away. I know Waxwork kills it on their releases, and I, I don't own that many, so I'm really always excited to add one to the collection. Ooh, that's beautiful. Look at that. A lot of artwork on that one. Very, very pleased. Okay, uh, is uh, your next? This is what, probably one of my favorites from the 2000s. I, I can't remember exactly the year it came out, but one of my favorite movies of all time. A little side card here. Mondo and Death Waltz. So there's the front of that. It's like the fox mask and then the house layout. Awesome, awesome. There's 26 songs on this thing. I'll take it. Nice open bifold there. Really cool. All right, now let's check out these vinyls. No, okay, this one is just straight black. No problem, obviously I don't get these just for the colors. You know, I get them because I actually dig the soundtracks. Very happy to have this release, guys, very. I like it when they have heavier uh, spines too, thicker spines, so you can like see them from the outside better, you know, when you have them all uh, lined up with one another. Phenomena is next. Now this one came in kind of like one of these little bags. I love these bags. I wonder if you can order just these. I don't think Waxworks sells these, but uh, I'm sure you can get those pretty much anywhere. All right. Oh, this one has like a really glossy finish. It's uh, open already, so awesome. Look at that artwork. That is just beautiful. Nice bifold there. Wow, this is really gorgeous. All the track listing there. Claudio Simonetti, Goblin, classic. I mean, uh, they made some of the best scores of all time. All right, let's see here. Ooh, very interesting. Now, I, I already knew the colors of these when I ordered them, but I mean, I ordered these probably about like a three weeks or a month ago, and uh, I haven't, I just got some of these in so i kind of forgot the colors of those there's that there's the first one and then the second one very beautiful i love it when they do different colors for the two different uh discs beautiful damn that one's gorgeous very happy with that release up next, Mondo and Deathwalt's uh, Prince of Darkness. Man, I got some John Carpenter in this haul. I've got I got two John Carpenters. I've got a um, Dario Argento on fire. This is definitely my best haul to date. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, if you guys like this video, I'll definitely do it like a vinyl collection video. I don't have a uh, a very impressive collection by any means. It's definitely kind of a newer thing that I've been drawn to, but I'm uh, really into it right now. I love listening to these when I write and do all kinds of different kinds of stuff. It's the uh, track list. Not a, not a lot, but long uh, run times. Right, bifold there. Very cool, very cool. Looks like in this first compartment here, 
just a little card. Awesome. Right, now let's get to the goods, huh? So this is just a single LP. This one's solid black too. I believe they had the green variants and all kinds of stuff. I'm honestly, when it comes to these releases, guys, I just want to have the soundtracks. I'm fine with just the uh, kind of basic black vinyl color. It's not a deal breaker by any means to me. And then last but not least is the thing. That sticker, I, look how cool that sticker is. <laughs> Love that. All right, where's the back? Where's the track listing there. Now this one almost has like a matte finish, but this is kind of glossy, as you can see. Very cool. Wow, the glare's actually doing something positive for me in this video. All right, there's the buy fold there. Gorgeous. Now I love the original, uh, the thing too, the thing from Another World released in the 50s. I know that was uh, always one of John Carpenter's favorite films, so that's really cool he was able to um, kind of remake that. I'm sure that was a milestone for him in his career. And I actually enjoyed the 2011 prequel, whatever the hell that was. I, I had a good time with it, even though it's pretty much the same thing as this movie. Looks like just like a mini poster thing. It's pretty cool. And it looks like we've got the... Wow, look at that, that is awesome. Kind of like a uh, snow blast, transparent with some white splatter. Very, very happy with that. And so yeah, that's it guys, that's uh, all the vinyls I picked up, right there. So that's all I got for you guys this week. Thanks for stopping by. Um, check out my Instagram where I have slasher uh, film reviews with fun facts and kill counts and I also do a lot with my podcast called It's a Horror Podcast. Check us out there or anywhere else podcasts can be listened to. Um, yeah, so what do you guys think of my haul? Uh, you know, what are some of your favorite vinyls, uh, your favorite horror soundtracks and whatnot? I'm de it's definitely something I'm getting really, really into. It's, dra it's drawing me in for sure. Um, I'll have to do a, a video with my setup, my, uh, my record player as well as my collection. So that's it this week, guys. Thanks for stopping by. See you.